My name is Zoe Shipton. I'm a professor of geological engineering at the University of Strathclyde. Today is a big day for us. It's the official launch of the UK Geoenergy Observatories project. We're here in Glasgow at the very first borehole to be drilled, where we're drilling down to 200 metres to take samples of the rocks and to install a seismometer. We're drilling the hole, we're taking rocks like this out of the hole and we're introducing the project to the people who, who should be interested in it. Okay, good morning ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out. So today we're hearing from a variety of people, some from the British Geological Survey, some from the UK government and some from the local community to tell us what they think about the project. For us, as scientists, it, we, it's really important that we understand what is going on beneath the surface when we uh, design and engineer operations to go into the subsurface and to extract the wealth that lies within. This is our CERN, this is our Jodrell Bank. We don't have an understanding of the Earth in the way that it behaves year by year or day by day or second by second, like you do with the atmosphere or the oceans. So this is really, what we're doing here is a start to understand the subsurface better. This is going to be a, a laboratory that runs for the design life currently is for 15 years. We are going to characterise a volume of rock on the scale of about a cubic kilometre. 12 boreholes in Glasgow and, and around 50 in Cheshire. We're going to have really good data about what's going on down those boreholes. That will enable us to build a three-dimensional model of what's going on in the geology. Geothermal energy is the one we really want to get to, and that's the primary purpose of what's being done here in Glasgow. It's looking for geothermal energy, hot water coming from the inside of the earth that we can use to heat people's houses. OK, so here we have a piece of rock from the bottom of the hole. Here we have, actually, this looks like a bit of coal. So that's a coal from about 145 metres below our feet here. We're sitting on old mines, and those mines contain warm water. It's not hot like Iceland, it's not boiling water, but it's warm. So you strip the heat out of the water, and you upgrade that heat the way that the, 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 it's pretty much the same engineering as your fridge, and you produce cold water. If you can pump that cold water back into the mines and let it heat up from the surrounding rocks, then you can repeat that process. What's under our feet here is the old mine workings, so it's fantastic to make that an asset for the future of the area rather than the problematic issue it's been with old mine workings preventing development taking place on the ground. Just think, it's only 100 years ago that we were sending a million men underground to dig out coal, bring it back up, a lot of them dying underground, dying early as a result of being underground, but then to burn that coal to provide us with energy only 100 years ago. And now we're looking at better ways, better ways of getting energy, but will also be cleaner ways of getting energy, and we're not sending people underground. I am just extraordinarily excited by seeing this research going on, what BGS are doing, what they're doing with academe, with business and others. This is research, but it will also bring, I hope in the short term, uh, heat to homes in this area, but in the long term, who knows what it can bring and what it can do for our green future. It's truly putting Glasgow on the map as a place to learn about the possibilities of geothermal heat. And where there's knowledge to share, we must open that up to as wide an audience as possible. So it's wonderful to hear today about the educational opportunities that this site will offer to our young people. It'll hopefully inspire the next generation of scientists or geophysicists. So it's absolutely fantastic that we'll be able to use this as a site that we can bring people to. They can learn about what we're doing and about why decarbonising heat and energy is absolutely critical for our future. What this will do for us is bring people and businesses to the area that will provide jobs and a brighter future for the people of Clyde Gateway. This is one of the partnerships that I didn't anticipate when we started 10 years ago. I didn't think we'd have uh, uh, British Geological Society, I didn't think we'd have this sort of partnership. So welcome uh, to Clyde Gateway as, as new partners and we wish you all the very, very best for the research project that you're embarking on. Thank you for the opportunity to speak.